I'm reviewing the Yes Welder Cut 65 DS. This uh, came well packaged and had a box of accessories. The accessories in the box are nicely packaged as well. The Yes Welder was of course in good shape. It only weighs 20 pounds. On the back side is power switch, the power cord, the air filter, and the fan. The instructions are easy to read and in English. There's an air hose, the ground cable, and the torch. The torch and ground cable are 10 feet long, which is very nice. I removed the dust cap and attached the torch to position number one. There's a red wire and a black wire. The red goes to position number two, the black to position number three. Position number four is the ground cable, which connects with a quarter turn to lock it. The nozzle can be disassembled for replacing consumables. There is a wrench included for the electrode. There is a standoff guide, which is also separately packaged, and that goes on the end of the nozzle. I bought the accessories, which includes consumables, electrodes, nozzles, nozzle cup, and swirl ring. There's a nice long cord and an adapter for 110 voltage. You need your own air compressor. The air hose goes from the filter to the your compressor. You simply push the air hose in the back of the air filter. You push in and it self locks. Then to remove, you push the black ring in and you can remove the hose. I use these two fittings to connect to my compressor. The barbed fitting was too large in diameter, so I ground it down. I then heated up the fitting and the hose a little bit and pushed it on so it's nice and tight. Now I have it connected to my compressor, then to the back of the machine, turn the machine on to 220 power and the digital display turned right on. I'm now ready to test it.